G you here for the first batch of HTV photo shoot. Uh, it's a pretty cool deal here that we're doing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, well, that's uh, some rather, I guess, ABW was doing. Uh, during those times, guys, uh, he used to do a whole lot of painting, or, or I should say a lot of sketching. Uh, and uh, he would do uh, gimmicks like this here. And uh, we were playing the 06 game, uh, SmackDown vs. Raw, and uh, I would wear, you know, a whole lot of different colors, okay? So where you see, uh, you know, anywhere that there's a, a blank space, uh, it'd probably be filled with a different color or some or another. And those were probably uh, two different ideas of uh, uh, different masks that I would wear. Uh, over my career, uh, that's what I wore, okay? I would wear uh, different masks and things that not... Uh, uh, that nature and uh, th that would be my hair gimmick uh, that's why my hair is uh, <laughs> like this now uh, it's freaking receding now from so many years of uh, color in it so uh, these are just some uh, mask uh, concepts uh, for that okay uh. <laughs> well that's uh, freaking Tavari Howard guys uh, <laughs> I think this is like 2005. I can't tell what that says there at the bottom. Uh, oh wow, you can uh, you can zoom into that thing, but uh, this is uh, down in the basement, and uh, the other half of this picture uh, is not uh, being shown. Uh, thank God, guys. But uh, actually, Two Ranks, uh, aka Roman Rone, aka Rock RJ, was uh, actually locked up inside of a. Uh, LT and Killer's Basement, and that's that's Tavari Howard right there, him as a kid, uh, nothing to fuck with is what it says on his shirt. Uh, you know, the Tavari Howard that we see from nowadays is uh, a whole lot different from what we would see back then, and you can look around there at the ground and see a friggin' uh, buzzsaw there, or, or whatever, I think I see a taser gun, uh, Lots of violence. Look, look what he's got in his freaking hand for crying out loud. And yeah, that's what he's pointing at. He's pointing at freaking Romy. Uh, yeah, uh, they, they tortured him. Okay, and uh, it was a different time in 2005, guys. <laughs> well, this is... Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's me there, guys. You can tell by the freaking hair and the mask. Uh, I'm getting freaking put through a freaking table by Hank. But, you know, the whole deal here, guys, is that, uh, uh, you know, I always had a problem with this here picture because, you know, it's supposed to be him, uh, I guess, powerbombing me because that's his move. Uh, okay, guys, uh, we've established that. But that, that's supposed to be him powerbombing me through a freaking table. And I, I never understood how he's already taunting by the time I'm already, you know, just barely uh, going through the table. You know, I always felt like he ought to be, you know, uh you know, screaming, you know, towards me, but he's, uh, you know, cheering towards the camera, and that always bothered me. Of course, that's probably because, uh, you know, Hank, uh, they, they probably drew Hank first, and then they probably just drew everything else around him. Uh, they been <laughs> AVW. <laughs> but, uh, decent, decent, uh, breaking of the table. Uh, look, looks a little, you know, staged. The table looks a little flimsy. Uh, decent contact. Uh, this here particular pictures are rather dirty. I, I, this looks like it was done probably around 2007 or something. Uh, that's I think that's what I see uh, in common with a lot of these here. <laughs> that's freaking JJ Strong guys. Uh, <laughs> he's uh, standing outside. You know, well, you know he was a boxer. And that's why he's standing outside that their uh, that their ring, and I guess he's uh, training in a gym, and uh, taking a quick little picture there with the girls. Uh, he would walk around and be like, "I'm Jack James, bitch," and uh, that was his gimmick. Uh, this I'm not sure if this is around the time he was doing the Sugar Man gimmick, but uh, JJ Strong, he'd have to tell you about that one. Uh, <laughs> 
I think it's funny how you threw that in there, guys. Uh, but sure, I mean, yeah, I mean, he, he was he was uh, quite the athlete around this time, guys. Uh, he was an interesting character. And, um, you know, it's funny seeing him here now because, uh, you know, he's completely evolved from this. <laughs> Let's go, freaking coward Foxy Hot, guys. <laughs> she's, uh... <laughs> I think she's probably uh, coming from the 06 era. You can see her freaking shorts are pulled down. You can see her freaking underpants. But uh, I'm laughing because uh, she doesn't have any freaking hands or feet. And uh, during those times, uh, ABW, aka freaking Joe, uh, doesn't know how to freaking draw hands, uh, you know, quite that good. And, um, <laughs> and so that's why. Uh, he, he, she doesn't have hands or feet, but uh, he started to work on it after a while. Uh, I guess that was the gimmick to uh, have girls, you know, uh, shorts down uh, past their uh, hips there. But yeah, there's there's Fox, guys. Uh, <laughs> strutting her stuff. That's <laughs> <laughs> freaking Justin, guys! <laughs> That's freaking Justin, and uh, you know, God bless him. Uh, <laughs> I think that uh, <laughs> that I, I don't think that he's uh, that he was with Miss Martha here uh, just yet um, because he here. No, but maybe he was because I understand. You know, him, him and Miss Martha had been together for for their whole life, uh, or for the better part. Uh, I think they were high school uh, sweethearts. So, what have you um so you know it looks like justin's caught right here guys i mean uh and you know avw will draw justin in you know different uh types of situations uh insinuating that you know justin uh you know or where, where he particularly might have been in his life uh, around that time and you know uh you know I i've always known justin to be a freaking horn dog <laughs> so yeah this is probably him around that time uh probably again 06 maybe 07 uh if i got my time on correctly and um you know they uh for fun they added a little bit of detail by you know filling in his uh jacket there where, where it's maroon and then they uh, did a little bit of eraser effect there uh made him a little bit fitted up so you can tell that justin's kind of like there uh in the young crowd uh you can see uh living by modest means uh in, in that apartment there you got a little few, few little fishies back there and everything but he's got him a little uh, freak freak little girl and uh <laughs> she's coming over to give him a good time there <laughs> don't let freaking miss martha see this guys Uh, well, here's the uh, here's the uh, first incarnation of freaking Team Yankee, guys. Uh, they see me down there uh, squatting down, and uh, up there, uh, you know, to the left is uh, Shadow, and in the middle is Daniel uh, freaking Dingo. His gimmick was he was uh, our manager, and he was being a whole lot like uh, the Road Warrior man manager, uh, Paul Ellery, guys. And that was his thing. But, uh, you know, around that time, <laughs> uh, you know, oh, us two were um, pretty big stars uh, during that time. I mean, Shadow came in like a house of fire. Of course, he had the uh, Shadow the Hedgehog uh, television show. Okay, and during that same time, we were playing uh, SmackDown vs. Raw 6. And, uh, well, he actually uh, was a, a hell of a star on that. And, you know, you just couldn't figure it out. And I, I, I think that he might have won uh, Rookie of the Year that year. Okay, guys. So yeah, that was a pretty big deal. And then, you know, we got together, uh, we did uh, 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 Sonic Heroes. Of course, we called it Yaki Heroes. Okay, and um, uh, of course, he was part of uh, Team Dark. And uh, we, we broke off then. And uh, yeah, but you know, before all that, you know, uh, what bonded us together was uh, the, mouthpiece, the mouthpiece there, uh, Daniel Dingo, God bless him. Um, yeah, man, that, that, that really brings back memories right there, guys. Uh, Team Yaka was uh, a big deal. <laughs> uh, well, the first thing that comes to mind when I look at this here thing is Pez freaking Watley uh, getting his butt whipped, God bless him. <laughs> 
but yeah, I mean, this is uh, the era. Of this now that there's the original King Kong cast. Um, again, this this might have been done uh, probably in 05 or something. But uh, yeah, guys, I mean, uh, he's um, he, he's some he's uh, you know something to be uh, reckoned with right here. Uh, he was kicking ass and taking names. Uh, left and right guys uh, when it comes to in ring uh, you know and you know Pez ain't necessarily a good example of that because I mean you know I think he was just jobbing out but uh, I'm telling you you know King Kong the original King Kong now, uh, you know and, and that's a pretty good you know depiction of what it was like right there you know he had that massive leg drop that leg drop could knock a guy out guys you know, I mean, he would just come down with all that weight. They, and, you know, here's a good look at uh, what I was talking about, about AVW there. Uh, look, look at his shoe gimmick there. It's, it's not necessarily uh, proportionate with his body. His shoe's about the size of a hand. <laughs> but, uh, you know, he, he had gotten better. Um, you know, I'd like to see some of uh, more, more of his recent uh, stuff. But, uh, yeah, guys, there's King Kong, uh, the original here. <laughs> Uh, take a look at this, guys. Uh, <laughs> uh, Miss A-Man, Sister Loretta, God bless her heart. She's up there uh, waving at old Joe and, uh, and Daniel Dingo on the porch as if freaking they're freaking way far away. But, uh, you know, she's right there. She's like, what? Hey, right there. She's freaking two feet in, two feet in front of him. <laughs> but, uh, you know, that was also, you know, and uh, I think that that's something that continues uh, their friendship. Um, of course, Daniel Dingo, you know, you know, all, all, all these, uh, you know, elderly people of XTV have, uh, you know, slowed down. But I mean, they, you know, these guys were in-ring competitors at one time, okay? And I believe that this is sort of the first uh, glimpse, uh, first, you know, uh, depiction in, in, in picture form of, uh, of these people being, uh, you know, in their elderly, elderly phase. I mean, uh... God bless, you know, all of them. Uh, old Joe, you know, had been the original Donkey Kong and then, you know, went on and, you know, trained uh, pain and freaking trunks. And, you know, uh, Daniel Dingo, uh, you know, he had his glory days, of course, back in 99 with the uh, CTR. Uh, so, yeah, you know, a lot of history in this. I, I, take a look at how uh, Sister Loretta doesn't have a face. Uh, that, that would be another thing. Uh, and, and, I, and I think that the reason she probably doesn't have a face right there is because uh, <laughs> they, they uh, were trying to think of an expression for her and exactly how to make her old, but they didn't want to uh, screw it up. So there it is. Again, they being uh, AVW, yes. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, 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 <laughs> well, uh, you know, it's interesting seeing this, guys, uh, because... <laughs> You know, and and I was talking a little bit about Team Yaki. I mean, uh, seeing this here, it just it kind of awes me. I mean, you know, about how uh, over Team Yaki was, and you know, everybody in this picture was over. Okay, and this right here was a. I, I don't think that this necessarily had happened, but this is something that we really wanted to happen. Uh, we had three different teams. This is a, a triple threat tag team match here. Okay. <clears throat> Now we have uh, their front and center is Shadow. I told you about how popular he was. There he is. He's uh, giving the super kick to uh, Moonsault Kid, and we were gonna draw in some fans there. But he's giving the Moonsault Kid the, the super kick there, and uh, Moonsault's about to go freaking over that thing. Now uh, there you see me uh, again. No face there. No facial expression just yet. And again, they look at, uh, that's, uh, that's Moonsault's, uh, okay, no, Moonsault's jumping off the top rope, that's Boy Wonder, okay, I can tell by the side of his pants, or uh, his trunks there, but that's Boy Wonder getting kicked, and, and that was Moonsault's partner for a cup of tea there, but, uh, they booed him out of XTV, he was one of those rookies that didn't, get, uh, stand a chance, guys. And, uh, yeah, all this is about to happen, and, and then the third team in this, uh, okay, so you got Boy Wonder and Moonsault Kid. You got me and Shadow. And the third team here is uh, Lil Dougie and uh, Hank McCoy. Uh, Big Hank there. And and I guess he's dazed on the, on the table. Me and uh, freaking Moonsault are about to come crashing down on him. 
and poor little Dougie is in the middle of this thing. He's trying to get his, him out of here. So, you know, we're like, you know, is, is this thing going to really happen? You know, what's going to happen? Uh, a, a little bit of suspense uh, was the idea behind this one here. Uh, and I can tell by the size of that ring that this is still the day of reckoning era that these guys are uh, trying to depict. But, uh, yeah, this was a, a real intense time, guys. Oh man, guys, <laughs> best wins. <laughs> well, uh, an attempt at a steel cage here, uh, you know, and look, there you see uh, Moonsault again. He, he was a popular guy, you know, he's uh, not around here in XTV uh, right now, but, you know, I, I wouldn't be surprised if, uh, you know, somebody got him on a, uh, on a show or a podcast or something like that. But, uh, you know, uh, I guess uh, best somehow uh, we're supposed to know that. Best got out of this, and it, it, it looks like Best is climbing over the uh, cage there, over to the left. That was his uh, Master Zuzu uh, flick, uh, freaking gimmick. That's why his outfit looks like that. And uh, Moonsault's doing a, a Moonsault off the top of the cage there to Yozy, who's there on the ground. And uh, she doesn't have a face. Surprisingly, Moonsault has a face, but he doesn't have feet, and he doesn't have hands. And Best doesn't have hands, and, and, and Yozy doesn't have arms because they hadn't figured out how to not interfere with the uh, cage here. And that's why that cage looks so wobbly. Uh, I'm surprised that Best actually was able to win and not fall off that freaking thing <laughs> because it looks halfway freaking broken, but I digress, guys. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, and you could have something like this, and, and this this was like a picture of, a, uh, of that time, a very fast-paced match. All, the, all three of these, uh, you know, talents were very fast-paced, very dynamic. They see Moonsault doing that, that Moonsault off the top of the cage. And, uh, you know, I mean, I, I, I would imagine that Yoshi probably got hit. Moonsault landed and, uh, you know, might, might have, you know, probably hurt himself on the way down. And then you see, you know, the best, he's already on his way up there. So he's already ascending. So, you know, by the, by the time Moonsault recognizes it, you know, he's already on his way out, guys, and so, uh, best wins. Uh, that's the idea behind that one. <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> the freaking warrior, guys, uh, there he is, Ernest Justin Turkeleg, uh, and, you know, that's, that's his deal, okay? Uh, he was always, you know, having some fun out. Here's another one of those pictures, and, and, and th this piece is this picture of uh, that's cut out, okay? Because then you see he's he's in a hallway there, and he's in front of the best's room, and I believe that this is a, actually a picture of the side house, okay? Um, there you see, uh, I think Justin may have eyeballs. I think he looks like he's looking forward. If you look real close, he does have an eyeball. He look, he's looking forward there, so good job on that. Uh, random feet, you know, uh, you know, uh, a little doodle foot there, you know, not bad, baggy pants there, uh, looking through his, uh, old school camera, and, yeah, he's, I'm just wondering what he's taking a picture of, and I feel like he's doing something perverted, but I, I, I'm not so sure, because I, I know, uh, Justin Turkey Lady, but, uh, that's why that one, that's a funny deal there. You know, believe it or not, guys, <laughs> and I, is that RJ in the freaking uh, <laughs> in the freaking audience? That I'm, I'm pretty sure that's either RJ or freaking uh, Killer, w one of one of the freaking deformed uh, guys. Interesting looking crowd there. Look at that. That's probably uh, Jaws there from the Burger King Kids Club over there with a the high top fade. But you know. The, the main focus here, it says free ODB. I wonder why it says that. I, I wonder if uh, Dirty was in jail around this time. There's, uh, there's, there's Tavari Howard again, and he used to be a comedian, guys. He was a stand-up comedian. Now, th there was a, a, an argument uh, about, you know, who was the comedian first, okay? Was it Tavari Howard or was it uh, the killer, okay? And Tavari had always argued that, you know, he did it first. And Tavari stopped being a freaking uh, a comedian uh, on stage because, uh, you know, he just let Killer have it. He felt like, you know, uh, you know what? 
if, if he feels like, you know, he's the comedian, you know, I'm just going to do something that's, you know, original. And, you know, you can just have that comedian thing, you know, because, you know, LT never wanted to do what somebody else had been doing. Okay. But, uh, you know, and, you know, his, his backup, you know, uh, was, uh, you know, one of these pictures. Now, they, they've got another picture of him where it's actually in color or somewhat color. I think some of that had been colored. And he'd been on stage telling jokes. But, you know, I just always laugh. At, uh, and look, there's Brett the Hitman Hart, guys. Bret Hart's, you know, I'm, I'm, don't even circle it, guys. If, if you can find Bret Hart, <laughs> say hi. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, he's, he's, stand, he's sitting right next to the killer there, or a.k.a. RJ. I can't tell who that is. But, yeah, I mean, and, and they will do them so, certain things like that. And sometimes they just come back and uh, add little gimmicks to, uh, just to make it even more funny. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty cool, yeah. And, you know, LT was uh, real young around that time. Well, there's my freaking idol right there, the freaking pain. Uh, <coughs> and and he's fighting up against Bad to the Bone, J.J. Strong. Uh, these two guys had quite the rivalry going on. In this here picture, it's trying to depict uh, when they fought on uh, Day of Reckoning. Uh, I, I think that that's the style of ring that they had on Day of Reckoning, uh, real basic. And, uh, yeah, these two, they would go at it. Uh, but in this one, it looks like, you know, J.J. Strong's playing with his freaking son, like, <laughs> yeah, bitch, can't hit me, bitch, can't hit me, peekaboo, bitch. <laughs> but, you know, at the same time, it also looks like uh, Payne's about to get inside and bop him right there in the chin. Uh, these two fought in an Iron Man match, I think, uh, because, or, 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 or some, uh, some of that kind. Uh, at XTV, uh, freaking Sides of Mania 4, okay, and, uh, it's one of the more talked about matches uh, of the time, and it actually uh, holds up. I think that we have it on, on audio tape. That's how a whole lot of the uh, matches would get uh, recorded uh, uh, via audio tape, guys. So, uh, yeah. JJ Strong versus Spain, man. Uh, <laughs> here's a good look at JJ uh, freaking back in the day, man. <laughs> Charles Dean, uh, you know, once he started to get over, uh, you know, there was an idea of, uh, you know, how, you know, he was going to, how he could come across. And, uh, you know, even the East Coast had started to come up with ideas for Charles Dean. Uh, he could have been like, you know, a uh, bodybuilder uh, sort of deal. I'm not saying that he didn't do well. And, that's why, uh, you know, attention to detail was uh, added to the sketches in his, uh, in his muscles there. Okay, and, uh, you know, there you see uh, on the left-hand side, he's got Big Ten money uh, up over his uh, shoulder. It looks like a freaking Big Ten money dummy because Big Ten money is a big guy. and he, He'll be the first to tell you, you know, uh, that looks nothing like him, guys. And there you see Charles Dean doesn't have a... Uh, a, a, a right a right leg okay uh he's got the zach gowan gimmick going on guys but uh i don't know why the hell they didn't draw his other leg uh, I, I guess i guess abw couldn't picture it there but uh i guess he's uh wearing some army fatigue trunks and he's attempting to do the f5 you see here around this time um all, you know these these pictures were drawn off the head you know uh so uh abw had been used to just drawing uh pictures that had uh you know that he'd copy you know he'd, he'd look at a picture and uh and then you know he'd just copy what he saw and uh this is around the time he started experimenting with what was in his head and uh these are some of the uh original sketches of what he came up with Oh man, well how about that guys? Uh, this is now this is awesome here guys. Where the hell did you find this? This is uh yeah and, and there you see it says this is THG. I don't know who those two babies are there at the top. I wonder who those two are guys. I wonder if that's uh Justin Jr. and Laisha. But no you know who that is guys? I just thought of it. That's freaking Pac-Man and Miss Pac-Man, guys. <laughs> The freaking two heads at the top, right? That's Mr. and Miss Pac-Man there. <laughs> and, 
And then there, uh, I see uh, David B. Boy and Foxy next to each other. And they're uh, looking like a freaking madam at the top there, the left. That looks like a, that's artist with a little ponytail. He, he, he looks exactly like that right now, but he doesn't have the ponytail, guys. And uh, right there, uh, uh, to the left of the word, uh, this is uh, Alex Trawford. Okay, and then uh, on the bottom of him is, uh, is James Trawford. Uh, facing the opposite way. Then over there, I see Dixie, and then moving down is uh, that's that's Sally Trawford, okay. And right over there, by the word is, that's Chris Major, okay. And moving all the way to the right uh, uh, of this uh, page, that's Ninety and Big Ten Money guys, okay. And then there at the in, in the middle left, that's Sister Loretta. She's got the hearts all, all over. Uh, all over her uh, chest there. And standing in front of her is Lil LT there. And you, you know, he, he was still just a little young, little dweeb. You know, he was like that for a real long time, guys. That's how he was depicted, you know. That's why it's crazy seeing Tavari all growing up and you know, ha having a family of his own. You know, he was that kid. That's why, that's why uh, uh, Lil Howard uh, is, is the way he is. Uh, little, little LT, and then we guys. And then moving on, uh, it looks like, I don't know who that person is with the dreads. I can't tell who that is. And then uh, the guy that's saluting, there's, there's Bob Classic, and in front of him is Killer. And in front of Killer is, uh, that's Justin. And it looks like he has a David Kidd Sr. and David Kidd Jr. shirt on. And to the, to the right of Justin is uh, Charles Dean. And to the left of Justin is me. Above me is Romy Rome, and then, uh, then to the to the right of me, or I should say to the left of me. I'm speaking as if I'm facing the freaking camera, but to the left of me is freaking Walter, and above Walter is Wales, and then there's another. I think that's Oi Naka. He's he's the gray ghost. He's the gray uh, Sonic. He was popping around that time and. Below him, I think that's Dyro. There's Big Trunks D Matic, and there's King Kong at the bottom right, and that big that big guy there's that's Hoon Monster. And all the way there at the bottom is uh, is Sis. There's always a monster in XTV lurking, and uh, that during that time it was Sis. Nowadays it's Black Blood, and yeah, that's this whole thing. It's called this. This is XTV. You know, it's real interesting seeing this though, uh, a depiction of you know XTV during that time, guys. A little caricatures because a lot of these guys you know aren't even around anymore and uh you know this is a whole lot of guys right here on here but uh there's so many more nowadays it just continues to grow it's, it's probably tripled this nowadays <laughs> well this was fun guys yeah uh i really enjoyed doing this man uh you gotta bring me back to do this uh stuff man this is this is amazing i don't know whether here you got some of this can i keep some of those guys